All right, right now it's time to make some money. Do I have a gentleman with a one dollar bill that I can borrow? A gentleman with a one dollar bill? A, a, a guy, preferably. Um, got, have, have you got one, sir? You do? What is your name? Bill? Bring your dollar bill and come with me. Let's give Bill a big round of applause. Come right this way, Bill. If you would, sir, stand right up on the edge of the stage there, I also need to borrow a lady's purse, a book bag. Is there a purse right back over here? Right way up top there. Uh, right, right back here. Uh, do I know you? Okay, I can't use you. <laughs> Who have we got with the purse? Right here. What is your name? Tracy, we don't know each other. Is that correct? Tracy, do you have somebody close by that you would trust with your purse? Who is that? Your daughter, <laughs> you look to your right and then you look to your left, that's great. Now Tracy, uh, Tracy, right? What is your daughter's name? Brienne. Brienne, would you do me a favor? Would you look inside of your mom's purse? I know you're not normally allowed to do this, but look inside of your mom's purse and make sure there are no lemons inside of her purse. Look real close, make sure there are no lemons in there. Coming right by here. Brienne, are there any lemons inside your mom's purse? No. All right. And what was your name again? Tr Tracy. Tracy, you're going to put a lemon inside of your purse. In fact, you get to pick which lemon you would like inside there. Go ahead and pick a lemon, any lemon. Take that lemon, place it right inside there. And then if you would, Tracy, seal it up for me the best you can and leave it right on your lap. Now, Bill, what an appropriate name for this illusion. Uh, <laughs> your dollar bill is going to play a very vital role in this trick. In fact, come right up here right this way because Bill, we're going to take your dollar bill and do several things with it and we're going to start off by mutilating it okay we're going to take it and uh, i'm going to tear the corner right off of your dollar bill and i'm going to give that to you it's going to be kind of like your claim ticket in case we ever see your dollar bill again okay hold on to that for me bill we're also going to write down the serial code of your dollar bill in fact i have here a marker and a tablet of paper and i want you to write it out real big so the whole audience can see we're gonna read it off there. Ready to get some light here, here we go. Write it real big, Bill. Uh, A7749. Seven, seven, four, four, zero. Uh, you can go to the second line, that's fine. 59B is in boy. Great. Now, Bill, we're gonna take that. We're going to go ahead and put it inside the envelope. And now, my favorite part of the trick, Bill, we're going to make your dollar bill vanish using my favorite method, incineration. <laughs> now, for the children in the audience, please do not try this at home, especially with your parents' money. <laughs> Look out, Bill. Right now, no, that's okay. <laughs> right now, your dollar bill is vanishing before our very eyes. Do you believe me? You do, but that's not the best part. Not only is your dollar bill vanishing, but before our eyes, as the ashes, the smoke, the soot are rising from this glass, they're floating across the room, and they're rematerializing in place of that lemon inside of Tracy's purse. Do you still believe me? You do? Great. Well, for the non-believers, we will prove it. Tracy, would you do me a favor? If you would stand up where you're at, and very carefully, hold your purse up so everybody can see it. I want you to reach inside. Inside, you will not find a lemon. You will find a $1 bill. Go ahead and hold it up so everybody can see the, uh, the $1 bill. Just hold it up. Just go ahead and pull it out of there and hold it up. The, uh... just, just hold it up, yeah. Um, bill? <laughs> You got another one? <laughs> you got 20. <laughs> Let's not try it. Tra Tracy, there's, there's just a lemon. There's no dollar bill in there? Do you have a one? No, I'm just kidding. Now, Tracy, that's okay. Do me a favor, okay? If you would, take a close look at the lemon. Really check it out. Make sure it's a real lemon. Make sure there are no cuts or slices in it. Make sure it's uh, the real thing there. Is it real? It's intact. Great, Tracy, I'm going to uh, put my sleeve up here so you can see that I don't have anything on my sleeve. And I want you to watch real closely because I'm going to touch the lemon just by its tips, just like this. I'm going to make a cut right across the axis of the lemon. Now, Tracy, if you would help me out by just giving the lemon a twist, just give a twist there and pull up. 
<laughs> Tracy, you can see there's a bill inside the lemon. Go ahead and pull that out of there for me if you would. I'll take the lemon, <laughs> thanks. Tracy, go ahead and unroll that. There appears to be a quarter missing off of the dollar bill. Now, Tracy, can you be pretty loud? I'm sure Brianna thinks so. <laughs> Tracy, uh, if you would, uh, go ahead and put the spotlights uh, over on the bill there. Bill, hold that piece of paper up so everybody can see. Tracy, I want you to yell out. Uh, don't look up there. Just look right here. I want you to read off the serial code of this dollar bill as loud as you can. Go ahead. There is one true way that we can, uh, in fact, prove that this is the dollar bill that you gave me. You still have your claim tickets? You need some tape. <laughs> we can take care of that after the show. Bill, if you still got your claim ticket there, get rid of all the rest of this. I would like for you to go ahead and hold it up there. Go ahead and take your corner there. Hold it up. Bill, is that the dollar bill that you gave me? Yes, it is. It is. There's your dollar bill. And my thanks. A big round of applause for Bill for helping us out. Thank you very much, Bill.